Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to look at constructive form. But we're going to do it with a combination of a real object and also some of your imagination. So your assignment is going to be to draw an object from observation. But then you're going to take that drawing, forget about the actual object, and add some imaginary details to it. This is a great way to start thinking in three dimensions. Here you can see my drawing, and I've used the little thing that holds your Wacom stylus. It's like a little pen holder. And it's pretty much a cylinder, but it's got an interesting top on it. So I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm just going to start sketching some random designs on this. And I'm going to have to keep in mind the form of the object. So I'm doing some detailing here that follows the outside surface. And maybe I can mirror these curves and maybe even extend it off the form. Now it's got sort of a, almost a pitcher look to it. In fact, now that it's looking sort of like a sci-fi pitcher, maybe I'll put on an interesting handle. The point is, though, I'm using a real object as sort of a mental foundation. And I'm taking that and using it as a practice for drawing on top of a basic shape. And you can get as detailed as you want with this, and you'll probably end up erasing or masking away some of the original drawing. But this sort of skill, taking a simple form and then making it more detailed or modifying the 3D shape is something you do all the time as an illustrator and definitely as a concept artist. Because if I modify this a little bit more, it probably won't even resemble the little pencil holder that I started with. It might be just an interesting 3D shape. But it's really important to be able to take a basic 3D form and add details to it. So I'll do one more real quick here just to show you what kind of crazy results you can come up with. The point of this exercise is not to come up with a beautiful drawing or something that really makes sense from a design standpoint. Really what we're doing here is thinking in terms of 3D, imagining form, being sort of like a mental sculptor. So the main thing I want you to think about while you're doing this assignment is drawing through the form, because this is the way that you're going to have the most believable volume about your object. You're not drawing something from observation once you get to the second half of this assignment. So it's really up to you to carefully imagine how this form would extend into space. Because hopefully what you've actually drawn, the observed object, will give you a nice foundation in the proper perspective. But once you begin adding and subtracting, that's all your imagination. So remember to draw through. Now, of course, your object is going to be different from my object, so your results are going to look totally different. And hopefully, even if we started with the exact same actual object, our final results would be way different from one another. Because remember, this is all about imagination and design. So really have fun with this one. Thanks for coming to ControlPaint.com.